going live welcome 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 to live stream number two so exciting happy days how are you i hope you're well i hope you are good happy wednesday let's do some art it's gonna be so good so today we're gonna be doing some painting we've got i'm going to be doing a cushion cover actually but you can do this project on anything so you could do it on card you can make an artwork for your room you could do it on a tote bag you can do it on loads of different things so i'm going to do one on a cushion cover and i'm going to give you lots and lots of different kind of alternatives as we go along all right because obviously we're in the lockdown we need all the alternatives that are available to us so um yeah my laptop is here so I'm going to be looking down over here, looking at the chat. So if you ever see my eyes go down like that, that's what I'm doing there. And obviously we've got this camera here, so I'm going to be talking to you like this. But also we've got a camera here as well, which is really fantastic. So you're going to be able to see what I'm doing super clearly right here. So what I'll do is keep on going back and forth from each camera as we go along. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have loads of fun. It's gonna be super fun. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna make sure we do something beautiful and we're gonna learn something new, hopefully. I'm gonna be doing something like really simple. So like if you're not used to art or you don't often pick up a paintbrush or you haven't done anything for a long time, um, this is going to be perfect for you because it's just so 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 simple and easy so um, When you come in the chat as well it'd be great if you can let me know that you can see everything good You can hear me well and all that kind of stuff. That would be amazing uh, Yeah, so I'm gonna start off with letting you know the different things that you need so let me go back to my main camera and I'm looking here all the time as well. So I'll be looking here when I change cameras just to make sure that you're getting that. So it's always like back and forth, back and forth there and there. So, hey, Laura. Hi, Laura, Jessie from the allotment. <laughs> yes. Hi, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining. Perfect timing. I'm just about to run through the materials. So I'm doing a really super easy painting project. I'm gonna be doing it on fabric. I'm gonna be doing it on a cushion cover but you can do this project on like literally anything. And I'll talk about that as we go, okay? Craig, how you doing Craig? Hi, happy Wednesday, how's it going? Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna be looking at the comments over here. So my laptop is here. So whenever you see my eyes go down, that's what I'm doing, okay? And also I've got my lovely click of a key, go to two cameras and you'll see the one above so you'll see what I'm making here so let me know if you're gonna follow along with me and also let me know if you're here just for inspiration and tips and all that kind of stuff Mira hi Mira and Ava welcome hi lovely to have you thank you so much for joining we're gonna have loads of fun I've got my color changing lights on again oh yeah it's all happening it's all happening we're doing it we are doing it, we're here. Let me know how you are in the chat. I love talking to you guys in the chat. So let me know how you doing, how's your week been? Um, and also let me know all your strategies that you've got going for the lockdown, because I love a good strategy. Um, so yes, anyway, let's get started. So, as I said, I'm gonna be doing a design onto a cushion cover. So I've got a cushion cover here. Um, it's actually for an upcoming party that I'm doing in a month's time, fingers crossed. Um, and in this cushion cover, I've just got, I've just put a piece of cardboard so that the paint doesn't go through. So whenever you're doing something on fabric, make sure you've got something underneath it, like an old piece of cardboard or something, right? Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be doing onto this cushion cover. If uh, you're not doing this on a cushion cover and you just want to use the methods that I'm teaching, you can also just do it on some card, um, not paper because paint and paper not really good it will just kind of like make the uh, paper all weak so if you've got some cards preferably some large a3 card or bigger then you can follow along with me and do this project as well the kale was tasty thank you <laughs> oh that's so lovely <laughs> i was sharing my kale the other day yes well i'm glad you enjoyed it i'm glad i'm glad i'm glad yes see other techniques right 
techniques and tips for the lockdown eat really healthy right eat healthy anyway let me get on let me get on so you're gonna need the item that you are gonna work on and you're also gonna need your paint so I've got fabric paint for this if you're not working on fabric obviously you don't need fabric paints so I would suggest the best kind of quality paint that you can afford um, or obviously whatever you've got in your house because of the lockdown um, acrylic is really good so if you're working on cardboard acrylic is great you could also use tempera or poster paint for this project basically whatever you got all right but I'm gonna be using fabric paint because I'm working on fabric um, you're gonna need a pencil you're gonna need a pen and this is actually just for the lid for the circular shape on the lid. Uh, you're gonna need some scissors. You're gonna need some paint brushes, obviously. So I've got like a bunch of thicknesses here. Um, I mean, if you've just got one paintbrush, it's gonna be fine, right? Don't worry about it. If you've got one paintbrush, fantastic. But if you've got a few more than that, great. I usually recommend like about three sizes. So if you've got like a just, I'm not gonna go into the technicalities of paintbrushes right now, um, but just like a small, medium and a large, it's fantastic. All right, so a bunch of paintbrushes, that's really good. You're gonna possibly need an eraser, but maybe not, that's just kind of an extra. I've got my sharpener here and my little tray with the sharpening bits, just in case that's not really that necessary. You're gonna need a glue stick. I bet you're wondering what that's for, but you're gonna need a glue stick. You are also gonna need some water in a jar, obviously, to clean your brushes. You are gonna need uh, something that you're gonna use as a paint palette. So I've just got a bunch of paper plates here because this is what I use when I do the children's parties to put paint on just because it's disposable and it's easy, it's good for the environment. Um, so yeah, so that's what I've got handy. So that's what I'm gonna use. Uh, equally if you've got a paint palette fantastic I've actually got about 50 paint palettes but I've chosen to use a paper plate all right oh and some tissue if you've got any tissue around if you haven't got any tissue around just use a cloth or something that's absolutely fine because I appreciate that tissue is a bit like gold dust right now right so yeah whatever you've got a cloth is good um, and then I've also got some glitter paints because I want to just add a little bit of glitter at the end. So, yeah, that's going to be a little option. Just a little optional extra at the end. Because I just, let's just glitz it up. Let's glitz it up. And then, to make this project super easy, you're going to need some stuff, like, printed out from the computer. So, basically, I'm going to kind of start getting into the sort of nitty-gritty of the project. The main technique that I wanna show you about today is making templates. Now, if you make a template, it makes it so easy to create any kind of design, whether it's on fabric or it's on normal card or any kind of painting. Templates just make your whole life so much easier. So, what is a template? A template, oh, Ava is excited to get her hands on his art supplies. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> quick, quick, grab all the things from everywhere. Grab them, grab them. Uh, so a template is basically um, something like a something that's drawn or cut out of cardboard that you draw around and you can draw around it multiple times. And it just makes it so simple because you can repeat a pattern like as many times as you want using the same template. So that's what we're gonna make today. I'm gonna show you how to make a really easy template. And all you're gonna need for that is either things printed out from the internet or like stuff from magazines and books or whatever you have lying around that you wanna use, all right? So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nature-inspired cushion cover. Because I don't know about you, don't you just love nature and don't you just especially love it right now <laughs> because like anything green let's just bring green into our lives right so i'm like we've got to be nature inspired today and plus whenever i'm doing my adults workshops people always love doing nature inspired artwork so i always make sure i have plenty of inspiration for them so and now plenty of inspiration for you so um what i've done is i've just pulled together a few things to show you right so maybe why don't I cut to 
the other camera so you can see. So what I've got here is I've basically got, oh, let me pull it down a bit so I can see that you can see. Right, there we go. <laughs> it's so fun doing this. It's really fun, like flicking from camera to camera. Um, so I've basically got these printed out from the computer. So I've got a sunflower here. I've got some poppies and I've got some leaves right so this all i did is i was like oh what do i want to do i wanted some flowers i want to do some leaves i'm going to print them out and then i'm going to kind of decide what i want to do all right and i've actually printed these out onto card but i'm also going to show you if you've only got paper to print on what you can do as an option to make it a bit thicker so your template is thick because you don't want your template to be made out of paper because if your template is made out of paper, it's going to break really easily and you're not going to be able to use it like over and over and over again. It's just going to be really like brittle. So, yeah. So if you're printing anything out from the computer, uh, make sure you're doing it onto kind of something that's just a bit thicker than paper. The other option is that you can find something for a magazine, right? Or a book. I mean, obviously, I'm not advocating like getting your books and cutting things out however when we used to be allowed to go to recycling places and kind of see what there was there and have a little look i remember this was actually years ago uh there was a big pile of books at the recycling plant and one of them was like all about the rainforest and i was like this is perfect so i took the book home and i ended up taking out a lot of images and one of the images cynthia hi cynthia how you doing welcome welcome so glad you could join hi tammy how you doing welcome how long have you been on already 10 minutes so you've missed nothing all i've done is explain about the materials so you're fine you can catch up super easy so today we are going to do a painting project and I'm showing you the easiest way to paint anything and that is to create templates. And one of the ways you can create a template is to find something that you really like from a magazine or a book in this case and you can create a template out of this. And because this is paper and it's like a bit flimsy, you want to put it onto some card. So here I've got some card and obviously it doesn't matter what color it is. I've just got some pink because that was what was lying around. And I am going to glue this onto the card and then I'm going to cut it out. So a template is basically just something like a motif in this case, a nature motif. So a flower and a leaf and um it's just something really simple and easy that you can just trace around you can draw around and you can place it onto your cushion cover or bag or um artwork or canvas or anything you've got that you're decorating all right so let me know if that all makes sense in the comments let me know let me know and i'm gonna go ahead and do that oh good hello i used to watch you on periscope oh welcome yeah i used to be on periscope so so much didn't i like about three years ago i used to love periscope it was so fun and interactive so thank you for joining thank you thank you thank you so let me know if there's anything you don't understand and i'll go over it again uh, but basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you how i'll create a template out of this so all i'm going to do is i'm going to get my glue stick and i'm just gonna i only need one sheet of card here i've got a couple all I'm going to do is I'm going to just glue on the back. And how pretty is that? Look, there's that. But anyway, what can you do? What can you do? You've got to choose your favourite thing, right? You've got to choose it. So I'm just going to glue on the back. And obviously, I don't have to like glue the whole thing. I'm just gluing where the flower is. It comes up to about there. And then I'm just going to stick that onto the cardboard. All right, and I'm gonna, just going to press it down. So can you guys see that all right? So I'm just pressing it down onto the cardboard. So basically, it's got a cardboard backing, and that means you can reuse it over and over and over again, which is perfect, right? So while that's just drying off, I'm going to cut out my other template. Now, from here, I'm going to choose the leaf. Now, I'm sure you can see that I've already decided on what I'm going to do. I've actually already done like a little test sketch on Instagram Live yesterday. 
I did a little sketch. I'm going to show you here what the plan is. So let me show you on the above one. Yeah, there you go. So this is my kind of design, what I'm going to do. So you see I've got these flowers. I'm going to do those and then I'm going to do the leaves in the background. And I'm going to do some little kind of circles. I mean, maybe they could, they could be berries or something. And can you see how I've got everything threes? Odd numbers always work really well. So I'm going to kind of work in three. So that's my little sketch of what is happening today. All right. So yeah, keep telling me how you're doing in the chat and everything. All right. So I'm going to cut this out. So this is going to be my template of the leaf. This is already on card. So I don't need to back it with any more card. It's fine. But if I only had paper, then I would 100% be gluing some more cardboard to the back. Or just gluing cardboard to the back, not more cardboard. Um, so yeah, and you could do this with like, like thick cardboard. So if like we we're having a lot of deliveries now, right? So if all you've got is brown card from cardboard boxes, that works absolutely fine. And you can just use maybe a blade or a cutting knife and a cutting mat to uh, cut out because it's a little bit tougher. So obviously scissors you can use with this card because it's quite thin. But if you were cutting like brown cardboard, you kind of really need a cutting knife. And obviously you want an adult to do that if there's any children like Ava watching. That is a job for an adult, for sure. So we're gonna cut this leaf. Looking really lovely. Boop. All right. So this is our leaf template. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to cut off this little bit down here and just make it a bit more sort of interesting. A bit more curvy, because you can do that. You can use your own creativity. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. All right, so we've got our leaf there. It's going to look nice. And now I'm going to cut this out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this just like a little bit smaller just go around first of all because it's always easier right when you're cutting things just get rid of the bit that you don't need actually i'll tell you what i'm going to probably use this for something else so i'm going to leave that over there make sure i don't throw that away um, i'm going to cut this out so this is the perfect opportunity let me know how you are in the chat i'm going to change my camera so I can chat with you. So I'm going to cut this out. Yeah, this is my beautiful flower on the pink background there. Or well, the back, sorry, not the background. It's quite useful actually. I thought instead of like having it white on the back, it's a bit more visual, it's a bit more easy to see. So uh, let's go back to there. Oh no, let's go back to there. So yeah, so this is just like so, so simple, right? All you're doing is choosing things you like. Obviously, if you've got like an image based program or an app or something, you could like take an image and resize it and work it out what you want to do. Um, but I just wanted to choose something that was like really simple and that you could just immediately cut out. So let me know in the chat if you've got any like thoughts on this of what you could do. Like I was thinking like even things like flyers that come through the door, you could cut those kind of things out. Anything that's like visual, it's kind of good to collect things as well. Like I've got crates and crates and crates full of like images that I use for my workshops. Um, so it's just really useful like when you see something I mean technically you could even use something like from a newspaper so like if you, you know when you get the free newspapers you could do that because sometimes there's some really pretty images that you get in newspapers and again you can just uh, put some cards on the back of that and then you've got yourself a lovely template you can use over and over again hi Zach Yay, welcome. We do some flower leaf shapes using your images as inspiration and cut them out as don't have any to hand. Okay. I'm not sure what you mean exactly. <laughs> we'll have to look for some flyers. Yeah. Just anything you can grab, right, at this time especially. And I appreciate not everyone has a printer at home. 
Um, so just look for gorgeous things. Keep your eye out for gorgeous things, right? And I find that like really lovely. I think it's probably to do with my age, but like I really love like magazines. I do love like picking up travel magazines and cutting things out of magazines. And I appreciate we don't really do that as much anymore now, do we? Because we have like Pinterest and all those kind of like websites that are all where you kind of put your images onto a website or Facebook or whatever. So yeah. Uh, anyway, so there you go. Be like looking out for things all the time. What am I going to get? What can I find? Right? Because like I said, I never knew I was going to find this book of all rainforest images. Anyway, we're there. Okay, we are there. So, we've got, as you can see, uh, that looks really, oh, that looks good on camera. That looks really, really clear. I'm so glad. All right, so, oh, I'm going to put that little there so I can see that. That's my little, just in case you were wondering what that was all that time, that basically tells me how I can click to the other camera. <laughs> you got to be prepared, right? you got to be prepared. So, um, I'm going to keep this for a while so overhead so you can see. So, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to get my paintbrushes out of the way because I don't need them yet. So, now comes the super fun bit, right? Now you're going to try and work out like where you're going to put things. So as you know, you guys have seen my sketch. I want to do things in threes. So threes and fives and nines look really, really, really gorgeous. So whenever you're kind of gathering things, threes is really good. And you might be thinking, Leona, there's two of things here. But as I said before, I've got my little berries happening, all right? And that's another way of making like an image onto your fabric or your paper or card is just to draw around shapes. So you could draw around like a glue lid. I'm going to be drawing around the pen lid. You could draw around that jam jar lid, you know, and get loads of different shapes that you want, okay? So referring to this, I am going to have a look. Now, I, as my design, actually my design is going that way which is actually probably nicer. So I'm gonna have one sort of pair there, then I'm gonna have one pair there, and I'm gonna have one pair down there. So I'm just sort of placing it just to kind of give me a, you know, so I'm trying to kind of like get it all in my mind, right? How it's gonna look. So yeah, just you, when you're arranging things, that's like the crucial moment when you are deciding how your design's gonna look. So this is like the most important part, right? So, yeah, I mean, I'm happy with that. I like that leaf. I mean, obviously, you could, like, turn the leaf round. So maybe I'll have the leaf going that way, then the leaf going that way. And I want it to almost look like it's moving, like there's a movement happening. Because that's really nice in art when you keep things, like, looking like they're moving and growing, especially with nature, right? So, I'm happy. I'm happy with this. I'm going to get my pencil. Now, the really important thing here is that I'm gonna be pressing really hard so you guys can see. But in reality, I recommend, especially if you're gonna be painting onto fabric, is that you don't press very hard. You don't really wanna to see too much pencil mark coming out. But because we're here, I'm doing this for you guys, I want you to be able to see it. I'm gonna press quite hard. So I'm gonna go all the way around my leaf template all the way around so you will probably see this pencil mark like throughout the whole thing and that's fine but in real life when you're doing this just do it super super lightly all right and it's really fascinating when you do stuff onto fabric because it's like a whole new world like the texture of it okay so that's going to go there, like that. I think I'm going to do my leaves first and then do the flowers. So then I'm going to put another leaf here. Did I say like that or did I say I was going to go like that? I think I like it like that. And then I'm going to put one down there. Yeah, so let's have this one here. So I'm going to go round. So let me know, guys, in the comments that all is good, that you can see it and everything. 
and let me know like how this is inspiring you and what you might make and what like what other art stuff have you made already in the lockdown are you in the middle of your art and loving it or are you i really need to do some art <laughs> like where are you at let me know let me know all right so I'm going to go around this, just going all the way around the edge. So that's the second one. All right, so it's just an outline. This is a template. You can even write on it template if you like. I quite like this because it's got all the, this is going to help us when we paint. It's like a real nice bunch of tones of green there. So I'm going to need that. So finally, so that's going to be one. I think I'm going to do it up there. Yeah. One, two. And then maybe three. So I'm kind of, now I'm kind of working at the same time. I'm like, the leaf is the leaf is going to go there. The flower's going to go there. The flower's going to go there. And then the flower's going to go there. So you've got to just kind of keep that in mind. And obviously, if you were printing something out from the computer, you could print it multiple times. If that's easier for you, you could print this leaf like, you know, three or five times. However many times you want to do it to make it easier. Right? So that's totally up to you. Or oh, can you see this all right? I hope you can. I'm knitting while I watch you and I can see clearly. Thank you so much, Tammy. What are you knitting? And what colour is it? And tell us all about it. Um, Avery's designing along with you. Oh, that is so fantastic. I'm so excited. Tell me all about it when you're ready. Oh, what are you doing? Are you do making an artwork onto card or paper or something else amazing? Let me know. Because I appreciate not everyone has a cushion cover. And maybe you don't want to like decorate a, like cushion covers that you've got already. But if you search online for cushion co plain cushion covers, um, just have a look and you can pick one up. And make your own cushion cover for your home. We all need beautiful things for our homes right now. And there's nothing quite like making your own piece of art for your home. Do you know what I mean? It just makes you feel so good, right? Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to put my leaf to the side. And now I'm going to make sure I'm going to put my flowers in the right spot. So again, I don't want to kind of just put it like straight. Because I think that's not this kind of design. Like, I'm not in that kind of mood. I want it to be, like, a little bit off. So I'm going to think I'm going to put one there, I'm going to put one up there, and I'm going to put one there. But this one, I don't want them to kind of hit each other. So that one there, that one there. And this one's going to probably have to be here. Maybe that bit like that. Or maybe going off a little bit. It could go off. It doesn't have to, like, be exactly on it. I'm making a simple red scarf for my little boy. Oh, that is adorable. She drew some shapes and cut them out. The design is on A4 card. Fantastic. <gasps> I love that you're doing it along with me. And I love, Tammy, that you're making a scarf along with me. That is so good. Jean, hi, Jean. How you doing? Happy Wednesday. Are you going to make something along with us? You can make this a lot. You could do anything. Or you could just chat with us. Tell us about your lockdown strategies. That's what we want as well. All the creative strategies are required. All right, so I'm going to put that one that way. 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 I'm going to do it that way. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Don't think about it too long. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. So I'm going to go round here. And obviously, do you remember that thing I was saying about don't press too hard? Now, I'm just pressing hard so you guys can see what I'm doing, right? But if you were doing this in real life, and if you are doing this in real life, you don't want to press too hard. You don't want to see those outlines. and Because then you've got to paint over it and make another outline, which is just a bit of a pain. So just don't press too hard, right? I'm watching, doing nothing, just enjoying learning from you. Thank you so much, Jean. Jean is a fantastic textile artist. And she makes things, what's that technique called that you do, Jean? With the sewing machine, when you kind of do all the, it's really cool, it's like painting with a sewing machine. It's really fun. I mean, I want to get a sewing machine just to do it. 
Do you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So we're going round. We're going round. We're going to keep it. Oh, another thing you could do is if you've got a complicated template, you could always get a bit of masking tape to keep it down. Um, I'm going to see if I can rub that little bit out there. It's actually quite tricky to rub out onto fabric. So, anyway, just an example so we're all right. Okay, so then I'm going to put this one up here. Shall I do that one? That one's got to be sort of that way. So that way, that way, and then that way. Or maybe we could have one that spits straight up. I love the shape of these. Oh, and I forgot to say as well, when you are choosing things for your templates, like make sure you choose things that are a little bit contrasting because obviously, oh, where's that picture of all the leaves? So I've got this of like all the rainforest leaves and I chose a design of leaf to then go and research more that was more curvaceous. So I actually chose this one to go find um, because I didn't want to do a spiky one that was like the flower. So that's a really good thing to bear in mind. Um, layering, syn uh, layering synthetic fabrics and burning them to melt with a soldering iron. Yes. <gasps> so, so beautiful. Jean actually dig them out and like take some pictures and share them online and stuff. I'll share them in my group, my Facebook group. Um, oh, Facebook group, if anyone wants to know, is facebook.com forward slash uh, creative inspiration group. That is my group on Facebook if you want to join it. Um, we thought we could make wrapping paper like this on the thicker brown packaging paper. <gasps> yes, that's such a great idea. I love it. I love that idea. Do that. That sounds so good. Yes. And I was thinking another thing to do, which is like kind of similar to that, is like making gifts for people. You know, we could like, so this is a really good time to like make gifts for people and then you could like leave it on their doorstep or do you know what I mean? Like, you know, they'll give them a call and say, hey, there's something outside your house for you when you go on your walk, right? Great tip regarding contrasting shapes. Thank you. Yes, I forgot to mention that. All right, so let's put, I think maybe this one is going to be straight because that one's going to be a bit like that. So maybe we will have one that's a bit more straight. I said I wasn't going to do one straight, so let's maybe just do it a bit, a bit off like that. Or a bit down like that. <laughs> Should I do it a bit like that or a bit like that? Let's do this. Let's go. Go, 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 Leona. There's no time to lose. Just go for it. Anyway, that's what we're here for, right? We're here to have fun. Oh, can you hear the music in the background, by the way? Let me know if you can hear the music keeping me going that for sure so yeah we'll get this one done and then we'll do the third one and then we'll get on to the painting and I've got lots of tips for you for the painting I'm going to give you some tips for fabric painting and also just general oh I don't know why I did that because I don't want that little bit sticking out never mind all about art how you doing welcome Thanks for joining. How are you? You having a good day? All right, so um, maybe I'll just, that one's going that way, that one's going that way. Bum, bum, bum. It's not right, is it? It should be also going there, but I don't think that looks right. So I'm gonna do it maybe just, I think off the page a little bit, or off the cushion cover a little bit, right? Okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Leona, don't hesitate. Just do it. <laughs> okay, I'm going. Go, go, go. So, yeah. Making templates. It's the easiest way to get something onto, get an image onto a surface for beginners. If you don't want to like think about how to draw something because obviously I could just go ahead and draw the shapes and you could just go ahead and do that but it just makes it life a little bit easier if you go around a template all right so that's looking nice 
The last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this pen lid. So do you remember when I said I was going to create those little berries? You remember in my design? Hi, I'm good. What about you? I'm doing really good. Thank you. Tell us about you. What kind of art are you into? So there's uh, my little sketch. So I'm doing these kind of like little berries, little yellow berries. Because why not? Because I feel like it needs something else. So I'm going to do like some little berries. So I'm going to draw around. So this is another way of creating a template. So I've basically given you three ways to make a template. So one, you've got print something out from the internet. Two, you've got use something from a magazine or a book and then put some card underneath, cut it out. And then three is just draw around something. A shape that you like. Anything, anything. And then you get a nice little, a nice little template there. Looking lovely. Ooh. So I'm going to put a few around. I'm going to put some up here. Let's put some around here. How's yours going, Ava? Let me know, let me know. There we go, one, two, and then another berry here. And again, remember, I'm just pressing super hard so you guys can see really clearly. But if you're working on fabric, you want to press really lightly. You can actually use like a yellow pencil, something that's not quite too visible is really good. But I just want you to be able to see this. So mine, my final design will have pencil marks around it. But that's fine. That is fine. Do, do, do. You can have a little dance break in between. All right, I'm going to do just a few more here and then a few more here, and then it's painting time. Actually, I think I'm going to add one more thing before we do the painting. So let's put these up here. One, two, three. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm gonna see if I can. Uh, looking good, she likes making the flowers and leaves come off the edge and is adding little berry clusters. Ava, you are adorable. That is so adorable. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can erase this, but like I said before, it's a bit tricky to erase on fabric, but even if it's just a little bit, that's helpful. I'll get that off there. And remember as well, if you're working onto fabric, to have a board underneath so that the paint doesn't bleed through. Um, okay, so there's a couple of things I just want to do. I want to put the center bits of the flower on. And the way I'm going to do that is just kind of simplifying it. Like I don't want to do like all the detail there. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put a little circle for this. I know that's not really a circle, but I'm just going to change it up a little bit. And then I'm going to do these kind of two little points here like this and then I'm going to do those kind of see those two long bits coming down I'm just going to do those like that and that's all I'm going to do really super simplified yeah don't want to do anything too complicated let's keep it nice nice and simple so I'm going to try and copy this over here and obviously I'm making this bit up just kind of using the the image here as reference so this is just a little extra thing this is just kind of what i fancy doing just to give it like you know that extra it needs a center right i mean you could just do a dot you could do a dot you could get the pen leads and go around that right so let's do these two and we're gonna do those bits coming around that looks nice I'm really happy with that. 
Um, the other thing I wanted to just do quickly is just make sure I've got this leaf pattern down. So I had that there, didn't I? Joy is here. Hi, Joy. How are you? I'm so glad you've made it. <gasps> welcome, welcome. Joy is someone else who used to follow me and watch me on Periscope when I was on there. So welcome, welcome. Lovely, lovely to have you. We are doing some painting. We are, I'm doing it onto a cushion cover. Someone else in the chat, was it Tammy, is making a scarf. Uh, Mira's daughter is making an artwork similar to mine. We're getting creative. What are you doing, Joy? What are you doing? So uh, I'm going to put just put the line from the leaf. So again, this is copying. This is not like transferring. I mean, I guess what I could do if I wanted to make this super, super easy is I could get a cutting knife, obviously adults only, and I could make like a little piercing inside for the veins and then I could trace through and do that, right? But I'm just going to do it for freehand, just for ease for me, and just so we can get onto the painting, right? So I'm just going to do a few lines. I can see that they're curving this way. So I'm just going to, I'm just, do, just doing a few, just a few little accents there. Let's do it on here as well. I've done it quite light. I hope you guys can see that all right. We're going to do this one going up like this. We're going to have a few little bits around here. So good to catch you live. So happy that you're here. Lovely, lovely. What time is it where you are? All right, let's do, and let's do this one over here. So we're going to have that line of that leaf going around. All right, so that is looking great we got all the hard work done and also what i'm going to do i'm going to simplify everything so you see this pattern on this on this orchid i mean it's gorgeous but i'm not going to do all this pattern i'm going to keep it really simple and i think that is always the best way to go especially if you're a beginner especially if you want to have the maximum fun possible is don't do all the complicated bits right so I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling sleepy, so doing some art. I will share with you after finish. Yeah, Joy does lots of beautiful paintings. So, so, so gorgeous. Really beautiful. I wish that on this chat you could like put little images up and show everyone what you're making. That would be so cool. But we could do that afterwards. Send me what you've been making. Send it to me and we can share it. All right, so let's have... Um, let's have a bit of a change. Let's have a camera change. All right, so, oh, and the music change as well. Da, 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 da. We have a little dance break because we just worked so hard doing our, making our templates and drawing our design. So the final thing is to paint. So we're like near, we're over halfway. We're halfway. Well, let's say we're halfway. Okay, I'm going to have a little sip of water since I'm just non-stop chatting. All right. So let's, um, let me make sure, actually, I'm going to get all this out of the way. So I've got lots and lots of room. Don't need the scissors anymore. I'm going to bring my water in. Now I always have my water on this side of me, which makes me slightly nervous because that's where all the technology is. <laughs> so maybe I should keep it on this side. <laughs> let's keep it on this side just in case right just in case so we'll get rid of that okay so as i said before i have got like just some paper plates so they're just disposable recyclable i've got a bunch here i just find that super easy uh when i'm painting um if i'm using acrylic paints i often just have scraps of card um i don't usually get my paint palettes out unless i'm doing teaching then i give everyone a paint palette um like teaching in person you know what i mean we're teaching in person now we're here you know what i'm saying before the lockdown <laughs> okay <laughs> oh this is so fun i really love live streaming all right so now color wise as you know you see my designs what i did on instagram live yesterday 
So I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep kind of like a pinky purpley vibe happening. Lots of green. I'm going to keep a white background. I'm doing little yellow berries. And I've also got a little bit of glitter. So right at the end, these are tulip paints. They are so good. And they don't just go onto fabric. They go onto like loads of different surfaces. <laughs> um... And I have been using these like literally since, probably since I graduated. Uh, actually, when, when actually when I was making stuff and selling stuff that I made when I was at university, which is in like the year 2000. I graduated in 2001. So <laughs> that's how long I've been using tulip pens for because they are just so good. I just love them. All right, recommendation on the tulip paints. We see how they work in a bit, if you haven't used them already. You can get them in loads of places, eBay, Amazon, all that. All right, so what should we do first? Should we do the leaf first or should we do the flower first? What do you think is the best idea? Let me know. Someone let me know what they think we should do. What should we do? I'm thinking that probably the leaf is the better plan to do first because it's the biggest so maybe we'll use the super huge brush yeah i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that i'm gonna use this and i'm gonna roll my sleeves up if you wanted to put an apron on now you could if you want to stay all clean and fabulous 20 years ago right <laughs> Oh my god. The flower you think I should do the flower first? I'll tell you what, it actually doesn't matter if you're gonna do the flowers or the leaves first. Hector has dived in. Go on, Hector. Go on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um it doesn't matter which one you do first. I'm just gonna do the leaf first because I think I can block it in and then we can sort of get big sections blocked in and then go to smaller and smaller details. And I think that might be helpful. He's painting my design. I can't wait to see them. Sounds so good. All right. So, how do we make green? So, now with... He painted the berries first. It doesn't matter what one you paint first. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Okay, so, quick note on this. So, I'm going to be painting leaves and flowers. What I'm going to teach you today, and this is just uh, one way of doing things. You can do it anything, however you like. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to mix three tones of a colour. And that is why, the reason why, <laughs> that is why, the reason for this is... <laughs> uh, so we get good contrast, right? So we've got a light, we've got a middle, and we've got a dark version of each colour. And that's just going to make our artwork look so good. With fabric paints, it's quite hard to paint um, a light colour over a dark colour. So we always start with the lightest colours first. That is for fabric painting specifically. If you're using acrylic paints, you can kind of paint over anything and it doesn't matter. But with fabric paints, you kind of always got to do the lightest colours first. So if you're doing fabric painting now or you're going to do it in the future and you're going to do this project or another project or any kind of fabric painting, take that tip because that is really important. So we're going to mix up a green and we're going to use blue and yellow and we're going to need a lot of paint because fabric paint, fabric like um, absorbs the paint like super fast. So you need to use a lot of paint, right? If you're just doing it onto paper or card, it lays on the surface and you don't need so much. But with fabric paint, you really do need a lot. This is hence why massive 500 mil tubs. So, oh, I should put this in the center, shouldn't I? So you can see. Um, oh, I'm not overhead. Let's go on the overhead. Let's go on the overhead so you can see. All right. So let's get some lovely yellow. So I'm just going to put loads out. This is a big bunch because I'm going to go and do all these three leaves at the same time, right? So let's put a little flower over there. Let's put a leaf over there. Okay, so what we're going to do is, it's a good point, light colour first. Thank you so much. All right, so 
what we're going to do is we're going to mix the lightest color of green first so we want the least amount of blue right so we're going to keep a little bit of blue here and we're going to mix a lot of yellow with it we want to get super light now you could put white in it but i don't want it to go minty green i wanted it to keep it really yellowy green right more yellow so i'm going to keep going in this until i get a nice light 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 yellow and like i said i need a big puddle so i'm going to need all this i might even make get some more yellow actually and can you see how thick this is look fabric paint is so interesting it's like super super gloopy i mean obviously there's lots of different brands if you watch one of my videos that I filmed before Christmas, me and my partner, we were testing different fabric paints. I mean, over the years, I've tested like lots and lots of fabric paints, and this one is really, really good. All right, so there's a nice light, light, light green. I think that's going to be the lightest we can get it. Okay, let's get painting, let's get painting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the lightest section. So you can see they're here, 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 and I'm going to go for it. And I'm going to paint it on. And even if it's like not exactly in that section, it doesn't matter. Because if anything, we want a bit more light. Um, just so that then we can like, if we paint over it by accident, it doesn't matter. It's better to get more in to start with. So I'm going to probably make these. Oh, it's super yellow. Actually, now it doesn't really look that green. Hold on, it might need a bit more green. We need a bit more blue actually. It's kind of reading just yellow, isn't it? So let's get a bit more in there. Should be a yellowy, yeah, that's a bit better. It's kind of reading a bit too yellow there. Forgot the blue. Yeah, that's it. But it is super light, so that's nice. I'm liking that. And then, shall I do the center line a light? I can change my mind with that so I'm gonna do I'm using a super thick brush because I'm not doing any details yet this is just like get it all on all right I think that's good for the light maybe a bit more around there there's a dry bit I'm gonna mix this a bit more it's getting a bit marbly we need it to be like properly mixed I have to go now. Take care. Be safe. Thank you so much for coming in, Joy. All the best. See you real soon. Thank you for dropping in. All right. So let's go to the other ones. So we'll go to the... Actually, let's go to the one up here. So... Oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to put this over here. I'm going to paint all this light in first. And a bit behind there. Can't really see that bit. So I'm just like with my eyes, I'm just trying to focus on where the light sections are. And like I said, it doesn't matter if you do more because you can paint over it. But if you do too less of the light color, then you don't get as good of an impact. So just make sure you've got like a lot happening, right? So we, like I said, we're gonna do a light, the lightest, green then we're going to do a middle shade of green and then we're going to do a dark green all right should we do the center we can change our mind i might want to do a different like center line we'll just see all right and then let's do this one. Oh, it's just so gloopy gloopy gloop gloop gloopy gloop 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 All right, and then let's turn this round. So I'm getting my template, I'm turning it round so I can keep referring, oh, oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa now. All right, let's pick that up. Let's pick that lovely bit of gloop, gloopy paint up and move it around. Can you see how much paint I'm using though? If you do anything on fabric, you've got to use a lot of paint. A lot, lot, lot. I know I've said it before, but I'm going to just say again anyway. Let's get all that. Nice. 
And if the leaves look all slightly different, it doesn't matter, does it? It really doesn't matter. It's all good. Nothing in nature is like exactly the same, is it? It's all a bit different. All right. So I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and do our middle green. So this is looking really nice to me. So I'm just going to, I hope you can see that all right. Actually, I'm just going to scroll my picture up. Yeah, it's all looking good. Awesome. All right. So now I'm just going to mix this in. And I'm going to get my mid green happening. Now that is looking gorgeous, but it's probably not enough. So let's get a bit more blue. Let's keep mixing it. Now that might be, that might be a touch too dark. We're getting into dark territories. We may need some more yellow. We need some more yellow. All right. So how's it going everybody? Let me know how your designs are going. Or if you're just watching, let me know how you are. How's your knitting going, Tammy, if you're still here? All right. So this is a lovely middle green. I am super happy with that. I'm not so super happy with like there being quite a lot of paint on my brush there. So I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit. I went up to the microphone there. <laughs> went, hey, guys, listen to the, listen to the paint. Why did that? I don't know why I did that. All right. So now we're looking for the mids. Now the mid green is just obviously what isn't the darkest green. Okay. So the darkest green is all around here. The mid green is kind of a lot around the edge. So you can paint a dark, obviously, over these colors. So again, it doesn't matter too much. You could actually paint all of this with the mid green and then just go over with the dark green. So we're just going to see how we go. I'm going to leave some sections. You kind of get sort of the best colour if you know what you're going to paint and paint it where you want to paint it with fabric painting. That is not the case with other kind of painting. I'm still here. I'm enjoying watching you paint. Thank you so much, Tammy. I'm enjoying having you here with me. All right. If you want to, uh, let me know what your periscope name was and then I'll see if I can remember because I definitely don't remember you uh, from your name on there now. Uh, my knitting is coming along as quickly as knitting usually goes. <laughs> I know, but it's the process, right? It's the same here. I want to just be like having a lovely time. I mean, I'm aware that, you know, I can't be here all night. And that we've got to, you know, round this project up. But at the same time, I love a, I love the process of it. The process is what it's all about. You know, making art is so, so good for you. And now it's scientifically proven that it's good for you. So I'm well happy about that. Nifty was my name, was it? <gasps> oh, my God. Do you remember what mine was? Were you there like when, like a really long time ago? See if you can remember what mine was. Okay. All right, so there's a bit of dark there. This is kind of mid. I'm still using my super thick brush because I'm kind of happy with it, but you could go on to like a smaller brush. I think I might change it actually a bit, a bit of the way through because it's kind of getting a bit awkward now. You just feel it yourself when kind of things just get a bit, you know, a bit awkward and you know you've got to go a size down. I mean, this still is pretty big, this one. This is a nine and the other one was a 10. If you wanted to know the specifics. So I'm gonna do pretty much dark. I'm gonna make sure I don't paint over my lovely flower there. That's gonna be dark. That's gonna be dark in there. And all that is gonna be kind of dark, I think. 
So, you know, as I said, like you, we could spend so much time. I don't, sometimes I don't think that any art is ever finished because you can keep going back to it like over and over again. So I am going to reach a point with this where I'm just going to stop. Um, but it might, you know, I might actually want to carry on with it afterwards because, you know, it could be a long time. So let's do it. Let's do it. It's looking good. It's looking good. We've got the music happening. I think that's looking nice. I think the rest of that's going to be the dark. Um, so like there could be a bit more mids in here. But oh, let's just do a bit. Let's just do a bit there. Um, I don't want to do too much. Don't do too much. All right, I'm going to go to the next one. Next one, next one. How are we going, Avon Hector? How are you doing? How is your artwork? You, how are your artworks going? Tell me, tell me. All right, so with this one, I've got to keep looking. Keep looking at the reference material as you are going along. Use it as inspiration. Like even if you wanted to ch change the color. So for example, obviously I'm using something that's green. So I'm keeping the color in this case because I really want to want more green in my life. But if you wanted to, you could change the color. As long as you do the three different tones that's fine but you can you could that could be any color right doesn't have to be the same color as whatever your template is if your template is a color your template might be black and white and you might have to invent the color which is also fine so I'm making sure I'm getting a lot of paint on the edges there to give my shape lots of nice definition so make sure you go around the outline all right still here leona quietly watching thank you so much jean i love having you here hector's gone for a food break <laughs> fair enough fair enough all right i'm gonna get this mid green in that gets a lot darker there so i'm gonna leave that And I'm going to come around here and I'm going to just put a bit of this in. And I'm mindful as well. When you're painting, be really mindful of the direction that you're doing the brush strokes in. I always say this to the people that I'm teaching because with most paints, not every single paint, but with most paints, you can see the brush marks. So always be super mindful of the direction that you're painting in. It's completely different to painting your walls at home where you kind of go in every single direction. It always, always matters where like the brush strokes are going. All right, the edge of this is like dark. But I'm gonna just take that up to the edge now. I've got a bit of a gloop. Uh, I sort of want to separate this a little bit with some dark. All right, I think this one's done. I'm going to paint out those blobs actually. Don't have any blobs. Same with any other kind of painting. Paint out your blobs. Always say this to the kids. Don't leave big blobs of paint hanging about because it takes ages to dry then. All right, let's do the last one. I don't remember you having a different name, but then once I followed you, I don't think I paid attention to the name because you always called yourself Leona when you referred to yourself. Oh, right back when I first started Periscope, I was called Artcraft Videos. Then I changed it to Leona Matuzak. And I also do have an artist resource one, but I never used it. Um, but yeah, we're all artist resource now. All right. Okay, this one, this one, so let's go. Let's do this leaf, let's go. Let's get this all in. So again, I'm just loosely following my template design. And this is kind of like very blocky, isn't it? I think the easiest way when you're a beginner is to just kind of like keep things simple in your mind, right? Just keep it don't give yourself too many instructions you know 
or don't take any too many instructions on projects just be like right this is the bit I'm doing don't overcomplicate things all right can we see any yeah we've got bits in here bits behind the orchid here maybe there's a bit behind there and we're not paying attention to the light and the shade like I'm not thinking that there's a light source this is a bit sort of maybe more advanced but I just thought I'd mention it I'm not making sure there's a light source coming from any direction I'm just seeing them as individual motifs all right okay which is kind of like generally the way it is in textile design actually Jean if you're still around you can say about that more than me all right so 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 let's do the darks now and then we'll go into the flowers on it but that's fine let's just keep on moving so let's get some dark green happening so i'm just mixing that blue right in there dark 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 that is really nice i'm really liking that we need quite a big puddle again make sure you've got enough paint because otherwise you have to try and keep matching it you don't want to color match really really annoying it's better that you have more paint and then you go and use it for something else you don't want to color match that is such a pain oh i just got a lag oh you can refresh it if you get a lag you can refresh um where's my thingy yep yeah, so just if you get any lags just refresh the page um i am refreshing the chat so that it's all cool for you I'm going to keep on, let me just scroll to the to the end of the chat. There it is. All right, amazing. Right, I'm going to keep going. Oh, that's super dark. Maybe not quite that dark, actually. All right, so let's get this. Oh, I need a thinner brush, thinner brush, thinner brush, thinner brush. So yeah, if it ever goes funny, you can just like refresh the page. It's all back to normal my end. So refresh the page. Let me go and do my one camera while I carry on with this. And I can just tell you about that. Oh, this green is gorgeous. <gasps> oh look at that that is so lovely so if you ever get a lag or anything because we are on the internet and you know everyone is using the internet right now right if you get that all you've got to just do is refresh the page and come back and what i will do to help that is i just put the chat on slow mode which basically just means it's like you can chat and put a comment every 10 seconds which is still like super fast really um so yeah just to bear that in mind uh yes flat shapes and areas work well in textile design yeah there you go spoke from from the textile artist so we're getting this all chunked in now we're getting this dark green i mixed up this lovely lush dark green i'm trying to keep that with the like flow of those veins and i'm also going to use this dark green to like do the veins as well to help them pop so I'm gonna go all the way around all the way around oh it looks so nice so yeah I'm gonna see how we've got these veins happening I'm just gonna like put a few of those in just a little bit there not much just like a little kind of accent yeah just a little accent you know what i mean all right i'm gonna go back to the other camera so you can see oh what letter is it it's a <laughs> there you go you can see you can see from overhead again now 
So this is really lovely. I just want to make sure that the edge of this, I'm going to apply a little bit more paint and make sure the edges are real nice. So Ava and Hector, make sure you've got your beautiful edges of your lovely, lovely um, templates. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get all this in. I've got a smaller brush now just because I want to like make sure I'm getting all these lovely edges happening. So we're doing really well. We are doing well. Let me know that you're back. If you refresh, let me know you're back. Thanks, Jean. We're on it. We're on a mission. We're on an art mission. I don't know about you. Like, did the, how did the, you, I mean, obviously we've all been through like a gazillion emotions on the lockdown and everything, but have you like felt more motivated like I'm like, I've got to provide more classes and more of this so people can do more art and feel really good. I'm like, let's do this, you know? Let's not dilly dally around. I see everything better, fantastic. Amazing, amazing. Thank you for hanging in. Such is the joys of the internet. So I'm just kind of like painting this big bit with this. I'm really liking the way this looks and I'm really just loving green. Much better, hooray. Thank you, Zach. Thank you so much. We are all good. We are all good in the hood. Right, I'm gonna turn this around. So I'm just double checking my reference because for a second there I lost it and didn't look at my reference. And I need to make sure that I'm paying attention to my reference because that's what it's there for. And I'm just gonna ease this around here. And I'm gonna make sure there's no white space. So Ava and Hector, make sure you've got no white spaces in your designs, right? Make sure there are no white spaces if you are on painting onto white card. We don't want any white space. All right, this is looking good. I feel like I could do so much more on it, but I'm gonna go on to the last one here. Let's do the last one. And then all I'm gonna do is do uh, the yellow berries and my flowers. And we're gonna like have a gorgeous artwork, right? Doing so well. How much can be achieved? It's only been an hour, guys. It's only been an hour and look how much we've done, which is so, so good in one hour. It's amazing. All right, oh, gotta look at my reference. Turning my reference around. Keeping them strokes of the brush. Oh, there's actually like a dark bit there. So much more I could do on this, but we're keeping it simple. Keeping it simple for maximum satisfaction, right? Okay, so we're going round, we're going round. Looking so nice. Getting all this dark bit round here. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. When you get like sort of past the halfway mark on an artwork, it's always like super extra exciting because you're like, you can see where it's going, you know? Do you know what I mean? Do you feel that, Tammy? Do you feel that with your um, knitting? Do you get to like a certain point and you're like, oh my gosh, everything feels so great because sort of the end is the completion because you get that lovely sense in com when you complete something like a real sense of achievement and so just another thing that i love about art is that sense of you know that you did it 
and all your hard work really pays off. All right, even though there is so much more I could do on this, I'm not gonna do any more. I'm not gonna do any more green, right? I've got so much blue here, but that is okay because I'm gonna, why am I not putting my brushes in my water? <laughs> that is what they're there for. I've been putting them over there. All right, let's have a clean the brush moment. All right, we're having a clean the brush moment. We've done this for now, so I'm gonna take my leaf away. I'm gonna clean my brushes. Looking gorgeous, I'm really, really happy. I am going to now make sure, it's, I think it just because it feels a bit alien because my water's over here, and I always have my water over that side, but there's no way I'm putting water near like all those technological things. That would be silly. So, I'm just gonna get a bit of yellow. I'm gonna do those lovely little berries. And then, we're gonna do the flower. And we're gonna do the same again. We're gonna do the three different tones of the flower, right? So, I am going to, let's put that in the middle. I am going to do my berries, and I'm just gonna paint these in, just plain. Just plain yellow, I'm not changing the yellow. I'm just gonna do that. And I'm also gonna do the center of the flower yellow. It's gonna make it really pop, really gorgeous. So I'm getting, again, I'm doing like the simplest thing first. Simple, simple, keeping it simple. In there. Tammy, it's hard with knitting because it takes so long. And I was wondering why you didn't put the brushes into the water, but I didn't want to question your process. You are so adorable. That is so sweet. Um, yeah, that was why, because I'm usually like that, and I, it just felt so weird to put them over there. I don't know what was happening. So yeah, we're doing really well. Doing really, really well. If you love painting like me, you can always check out my online courses. I've got a couple of really, really beautiful and easy painting projects on my website. So if you go to artistresource.co.uk forward slash online courses, you'll see that there's two such beautiful projects. So go and have a look at those and see if you'd like to do them because they're super, super, super lovely. Really, really easy. All right, let's do the center of these beautiful orchids. So nice. Do, 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 do. Da, 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 da. Amazing. All right. Doing really good. Oh, I should be on the other cameras. Let me go to, there we go. Oh, it looks really nice from over there. <laughs> right, I'm going to the other camera. Ooh. All right. We need to do the flowers, guys. We need, it's flower time. It is flower time. It's flower time. All right. So, let's do it. Do, 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 do. I also need some water here. All right. So, it is time we are going to do, we're gonna mix up a purple. I kind of feel like I wanna use a different plate, but I'm not going to waste that plate. I'm going to use it. So I'm gonna put, let me move all this out of the way. I'm gonna put, and hopefully you can see this just here, or you can see that, you can see my sketch there. So if I move that out of the way, move this, you should be able to see this just 
Um, I'm going to put a little bit of red here and I'm going to mix up some purple. And again, what I want to do is I want to create uh, three different tones of, um, of purple. But I want to do a really light one. So I'm actually going to do a tint. I'm actually going to put white with it because I want to do it super, super light. And you can't quite get the same thing if you don't use white with purple. So you have to be super patient with purple. And you also, it's also a good sign of a good quality paint if you can make a good purple. If you can't make a good purple with your paint, it means that you could probably get a better quality paint, which means that you might have to use like the one that they've provided if they have, if you can't mix up one. This, however, mixes up really nice. We're getting there. I know it looks a bit brown right now. We're getting there, we're getting there. We just need to put, pull some more blue in there. And then we're gonna like mix some white. So we're actually gonna do some tints. So let me paint on here. Yeah, that's looking quite nice. All right, so what I'm gonna do is get some white. And it looks really murky right now. But I'm gonna get some white over here and I'm gonna just scrape some off my brush and I'm gonna try and get a really nice light. Oh, we've actually got quite a lavendery have vibe happening there. I kind of want a little bit more red. I want a little bit more red. So I'm gonna put a little bit more red in there. Tiny bit of dripper red in there. I want it to be, hmm, well now we're getting more pink. Oh, actually, oh, that is actually quite nice. Right, I'm gonna mix this one up. Oh, that's better, look at that. That is much better. So we got a super dark there. We're gonna get a mid one happening in the middle. A mid in the middle, right? And then we're gonna get, oh, I quite like that kind of dusky pink. Oh, it's really, oh no, I'm gonna stick with my plan. I'm gonna go for a light one of this. Okay, using up all this. All right, so now I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna put, uh, where can I put this so that you can see? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look for the lightest areas on my flower and I'm just gonna paint them in, okay? So just like the leaves, we wanna do the lightest section first. So I'm gonna, I've got this lovely big brush. I can kind of do a really big swoop here. We've got now it's quite tricky to see on this because of the because of the pattern. So if you've got something that's quite patterned, you're gonna have to really, really look at it. Oh, I've missed a bit of yellow there. Why did I do that? Here we go. Just missed that complete bit of yellow. Anyway, there we go, filled in. Alright. So yeah, you kind of have to like look really super closely to find the lightness. Like there's a bit of light here. Gotta keep looking. Don't let the pattern distract you, right? So this one's kind of more down here, the light a bit. And then this one is more here. So I'm just blocking it in, that's all I'm doing. Block, block, block. And there's a bit up here as well. So it looks kind of messy right now, but that's fine because we're just blocking it in. Oh, and I missed the center of those berries, but it's probably a good idea because then I can go around it more. But I also want to get my smaller brush on this. Looking gorgeous, looking so nice. And again, it doesn't matter if like the couple of them are different. Really, really doesn't matter. They don't all have to be like exactly the same. 
Because what two flowers are like perfectly, perfectly the same, right? Okay, so here we've got a bit more up this end. And I need that smaller brush to do my edges nice. Loads of paint. That fabric just eats up the paint. Eats it up. So nice, so nice. This is just gonna look so gorgeous, right? Gonna look so beautiful. So, let's do this final one down here. Now we have to be a bit careful that we don't get like paint on our template. Around this bit, still looking, still looking at the template, making sure it's all good. Gotta get that thin brush out, Leona, come on. Come on. And then, on the edge here. And this bit's going off the edge, which I think looks so nice, right? It's lovely to have that bit that goes off the edge. And around here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So remember with the light one, just make sure you're using it as much as possible because you're not going to be able to like, if you want to paint over it, you can't go back. So, do more, more light than not. All right, I need to get a thinner brush. Doing so well, we're so nearly there. So nearly there, we've mixed up all our purples. So like all the hard work is done. We are ready to rock and roll. Okay, let's get our second one in. Now, I'm going to make sure that I have some kind of like artistic license with this because not everywhere is crystal clear about where the complete dark, like this is kind of actually could be light, but I want to give it a bit more of a defined edge. So I'm just changing it up a little bit. And like I said, I want them all to look sort of slightly different. I don't want them to look exactly the same. So we will be using a little bit of artistic license and that's absolutely fine. Gorgeous. All right. And then we'll do this one. It's definitely, definitely darker towards the center there. And we've got to be super careful and go over our yellow. Looking really nice. Oh, so lovely, so lovely. Let me know how you're getting on in the chat. Let me know how you are. Now there's a super dark bit, like around just under this bit. So that is gonna make it look really cool. But I'm gonna actually do it in this one for now. All right, let's get this on. And have you noticed I haven't really used that much water? You can completely use, like if you wanna like add it in and just make it a little bit more watery, you totally can. But I just think with fabric paint, because you want the strength of the color to like really hold, um, I would just, you know, just put on as much paint as you possibly can and don't worry about watering it down. But I appreciate that it might make it a bit easier like adding more water, right? 
especially on the edges if you want like a nice crisp crisp clean edge gotta love those crisp clean edges do you know what I mean all right there's quite a lot of dark on this one which I really like And there's lots of kind of veins and stuff but I don't want to do too much of that I don't want to don't want to compromise too much of that all right let's do this mid on the other two and then we'll get the dark one done Ooh. so nice so nice, so nice. So I hope it's all going well with you. I hope you're enjoying the process. This is the bit where you get to really like zone out and go with the flow and get in your real creative zone. Like this is the, this is that moment when you're in there and you're just like, oh, I could just go on forever. You know? Let's have a look there. We're doing good, we're doing good. I hope you're doing good with your design. I'm gonna put some dark in there. I'm still looking at my reference. Oh, so lovely. So lovely, so lovely. Got to make sure I'm adding a little bit of water here just to get those edges really gorgeous. But yeah, not too much. Not too much as well because if you start adding water, it kind of like bleeds as well if you're using fabric paint. So just be really, really, really mindful of that. Okay, we are now on to the final colour. Oh, no, we're not. We've got to do this one. <laughs> we got one more of this mid to do. We've got to get this one in. Oh, I'm really loving it, though. The purple and the green look so nice. Like, I am tempted to add a bit of pink to it because obviously it's got pink in the actual orchid but I'm not sure maybe I will maybe I will oh don't go too much over that yellow keep that in there all right all right all right and then there's a bit down there. Aisha! Hi Aisha, how's it going? How are you? Happy lockdown. <laughs> How are you doing? You're getting creative. I hope you're getting creative. Let me know what you've been up to. I'm sure you've got yourself some good strategies, right? We were just talking about how art gives you so much just generally but now even more so you know lowers the heart rate get stress alleviated from stress you just feel more easy with yourself you can breathe easy it's just so so helpful right i think i am ready to do the darkest purple now and then We'll be done. <gasps> and also, gonna put a little bit of glitter on it because that has to happen. Definitely. All right, we're gonna get this super, super dark. Hold on, let me get that tissue out of the way. Let's get this super dark purple happening. So lush. We're not using black because I think it's really good practice to just not like throw black at stuff to get the darkest color. Let's just use the actual 
tones that we've got. I agree. Yay. All right. So let's go for it. So I know where to go because it's the bit that's that I've left. But I'm still going to keep on looking at my reference image, my template. I'm still going to look at it just for just kind of like to double check. too much paint on my brush this is such interesting thing with fabric paint how it's just so completely different to using other types of paint it's just so 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 different it's you have to put so much on your brush I hit the black when the kids are painting oh you hide the black that's so good and Mira I'm so glad you're back did you have to refresh I'm so glad you're back Thank you for coming back. How did all the kids work turn out? How did it go? I presume they're done, right? We've been here for an hour and a half now. I'm nearly finished. We're doing great. Uh, I wanna put a little bit of, so it really starts coming alive. Oh, and another thing you can do is you can turn this around so it's easier. I'm gonna just keep it in one direction so it's easy for you guys to see. Um, but you by all means keep moving your artwork around right because it's like super super helpful don't feel like restricted that you've got to keep your um, canvas or your paper or your card or whatever it is like in one place I'm always always encouraging my students of all ages to like move move their artwork around just helps a lot oh this is luscious this dark purple absolutely luscious do 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 looks amazing thank you so much that's the trick really, it's just the three different hues of a color and tints of a color if you're adding white and all that. And can you see how I'm using my little finger there to like hold it up because obviously I don't want to put my hand on my painting so I'm like using my little finger as a prop. And obviously trying not to put my little finger in any paint. <laughs> Ooh, it looks so lovely. All right. I think that one's done for now, apart from a bit of glitter. Because going to have to put some glitter on at the end once I've done all this. It's pretty essential. Whenever I bring the glitter out in my workshops, people go crazy for it. It's always like the finishing touch and it makes everything just a little bit fabulous. It's not completely necessary. However, it's completely lovely. Oh yes, we might need a bit of water in there. nice where are we where are we we've got to do some bits in there get in there we are on it alan how you doing makes me want to paint again why don't you I'll have to give you some paints, right? Definitely. You used to do some beautiful paintings. 100%. What a perfect time to do it now, right? So we've been using templates today. 
I've been showing this probably the easiest way to create um, a repeated pattern from scratch there's obviously other ways and we'll do that in other videos and other live streams but today we talked about making templates so this is basically just a flower that I cut out from a magazine and then I put some card on the back and then I can use this over and over and over again and the same with the leaf as well and you just draw around them and you've got them forever which is a perfect little beginner's technique all right let's let's just double check actually I need to keep looking at this let's just double check we've got a little bit on there a little bit there so obviously for time's sake I'm not doing much more detail than that that is enough you're inspiring me oh I'm so pleased that's so great all right that's all I ever want to do is inspire people you know that's all I ever want to do I love inspiring people to do stuff and especially art all right I've got to keep looking at my template don't forget to look at your source material there so yeah with fabric paints as a quick reminder you have to do the lightest color first because you can't really like paint over a light color with a darker color in fabric painting um, that's just how most fabric paints are so that's why it happens in that way and we're finishing off with the darks now keep looking keep looking little bit of artistic license there all right well let's just do that a little bit there okay I mean I could just keep on going <laughs> But, Mira, how's it going? Did the kids finish? Let me know. I'm sure they have. I'm sure they have. We're coming up to two hours now. So that's the perfect time to get the bit of glitter on, right? The perfect time. All right, I'm just gonna have to do my little bits of yellow because we can't not have those two little bits of yellow hanging around there why don't i switch to my camera here and we'll get these ones done Ooh! isn't it amazing what you can do in two hours Right, and it's not even been two hours yet. We've still got 15 minutes for the two hour mark, which is my absolute maximum. And I can't believe, well, I do believe because that's how I planned it. But <laughs> yes, Ava did hers quite quickly and is happy with it. I can't wait to see it. Can't, can't wait to see it, Ava. Right, little bit of glitter to finish the whole thing. Right. So I'm going to have to use a different plate. I'll do my best to be a good person and just use one plate, but I'm going to have to use another one. Right, so what I'm going to do is I've got all these colours to kind of add to it, but I think what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glitter onto the green leaves and a little bit of pink glitter onto the iris, uh, not irises, orchids orchids so i'm going to squeeze it out of the tube and put it on my plate i'll tell you what let's finish with pink pink can be the finale let's do the green first you can like squeeze it straight on but i just think it's better to do it this way to put it onto your palette so you don't waste any that way i'm going to use my square brush just for fun I'm gonna change it to back to the overhead so you can see 
And because this is quite a dark green glitter, I am going to put it into the dark green sections of the leaves. I'm just going to wait till the camera changes so you guys can see. And then I'm going to go for it. Oh, I'm going to get my template out of the way. And I'm just going to paint it over there. Can you see that? Oh my gosh. I mean, this just, you know, do you know what you mean about glitter making everything fabulous? I mean, you, of course you know. If you're watching this, of course you know that, right? But I'm just reminding you. I'm just here to remind you, right? Oh, look at that. I hope you're picking this up. I'm going to hold it up as well so you can get it a bit in the light. Oh, there's so much more I could have done on the leaves. But say la vie. Oh, it's such a nice glitter as well. It's actually got bits of red in it. Ooh, does your favourite paint dry quickly? Okay, so it does obviously depend on the temperature of the room, but it always, paint, fabric paint takes probably about an hour to two hours if you haven't done it too thickly to dry. And then what you do with fabric paint is you get um, a tea towel and you put a clean tea towel over the top and then you put an iron on the highest setting and you iron it for about three minutes and that fixes the fabric paint to the cushion cover or the bag or whatever you've done. And then it's fixed so you can wash it at a really low setting in your washing machine. I recommend that you do it separately first of all. Um, and yeah, it's really fabulous and it lasts a long, long, long time. So that's the difference between like, obviously you can use any paint and paint it on fabric, but you can't wash it. So the great thing about using specific fabric paint is that you can get it to be permanent, which is fantastic. I gave you all the answers there. I know you didn't ask me about that, <laughs> but I gave you all the answers that you could need. <laughs> Might as well get all that information in now, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go and do the pink and this is gonna be the finale. Oh, I just flipped this up, mate. I haven't got all paint down my neck now. All right, the finale. I hope you're ready. Okay, we're gonna squeeze. Look at that pink. <gasps> Look at that. So nice. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit of pink onto the lightest bit on the purple. Just a tiny bit, like that. And can you see I'm doing it quite thickly because it just like worked really nicely. Ooh, it's so good. This is the finale just for a little bit of extra something. Ooh, oh, I wish you could see what it's gonna look like when it's completely finished, but it's gonna have to dry to get that. Oh, are you loving it? I'm loving it. It looks so gorgeous. So, so, so nice. I mean, I almost wanna put a little bit of white in it as well, just to get an extra thing but like I said you can go for hours you can go for hours and you've got to kind of know when to stop right I mean yes yes this is so good post it on Instagram afterwards I will thank you Tammy I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that, thank you. Like I wanna add a couple of things to it. I wanna add like some orange into like the little middle bit. So I might add a, just a little bit of orange, but I'm gonna go because we've been here and it's like so fantastic. Um, or should I do it now? Should I just do it? We got 10 minutes till it was two hours. So why don't I just quickly do it? Why not? That was gonna, the pink was gonna be for the finale. But I tell you what, we're here, let's do it. So I'm gonna do the tiniest bit of red. 
Why do it off camera when I can do it on camera? I'm going to put this here. I'm going to scoop my yellow onto this plate. Scoop, scoop, scoop. I'm going to mix up a bit of an orange. Orange is my favourite colour. So how can I not have orange in this artwork? It would actually be a crime. <laughs> It would be a crime. All right, and I'm going to get my teeny weeny, teeny weeny, teeny tiny, little tiny brush. And I'm going to go in. Can you see this? All right, I'm going to double check. Oh, yeah, you can see this perfectly. Ooh. Oh, it's the first time I've looked at it from like in a different angle and it looks really nice. Good. All right. Okay, I'm going to, this is the smallest brush that I own. It's a double zero, just in case you're interested. And I'm gonna paint around here. Just do this, shall I join that up? Maybe I'll join that circle up. Definitely using a bit of artistic license here now because this is not in the original um, orchid. I keep wanting to say iris, but it's an orchid. Don't get, I'm getting paint. I'm getting paint on my arm. Don't get paint on your arm. Yeah, just a little bit of. Oh, just you know, just a little bit. Just a little bit looks really cute. Yeah, that is really nice. The moral of the story is don't rush the final section. You know? So pretty. I'm really chuffed with this. Should I do a bit of orange on these berry things? That I just kind of invented. I think I should. I think I should just do a little bit. Just a little bit. Just for fun. Yeah. Orange is beautiful in there. Thank you, Mira. I really appreciate that. I was just like, it needs it. It needs that something else. Because, you know, if I was going to spend even more time on this, I would do like a darker, darker, like shade of green. I would probably put a bit of white in here. Um... But this is great. So yeah, make sure if you don't already follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram at Artist Resource. Stay in touch with me. Share your work with me. I'd love to see it. Or if you post it on your Instagram, why not tag me at Artist Resource? And then I can reshare that as well which is really great. And if you can't wait until next week to see me live, you can always go and check out my online courses, artistresource.co.uk forward slash online courses and spend your time making beautiful things, right? I am so happy with this. I'm super happy, we did so well. We created a cushion cover or an artwork or whatever you did from scratch. We did it, it is, it's done, yep. Yeah. We created it from scratch. It looks amazing, it's there, it's mm -hmm. happening. <laughs> it <is>. <laughs> <laughs> We created a beautiful artwork from scratch. It looks amazing. I think it looks really pretty. Super easy. 
<laughs> I feel like I'm losing my voice a little bit now. I've been chatting for so long, but I'm sure you guys did amazing. Please, please share with me what you've done. I'd love to see Instagram, Facebook, I'm at Artist Resource, Twitter, at Artist Resource, whatever your favourite favorite social media is share your artwork with me on there i'd love to see i've got to have some water gorgeous and such a great gift idea right what a lovely lovely time to be making gifts for people right now stock up stock up on your gift making for all the birthdays the christmas everything and when it comes to it you just be like here you go here's this beautiful thing i made here's this beautiful thing i made <laughs> It'd be so nice. <laughs> and you know you'll have time well spent. So thank you so much for joining me. I really, really enjoyed being with with you here today. Come join me next week, 7 p.m. BST. If you look on all my social medias, you'll see the equivalent time zone in America. And obviously you can always search it online and find out what the equivalent time zone is to where you live. So uh let's keep making beautiful things. Stay in touch with me. And I'll see you real soon. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone that joined. It was so, so lovely to see you. And uh, yeah, if you want to do more in between from now and next Wednesday, go check out my, my online courses, artistresource.co.uk forward slash online courses. And stay creative, guys. Stay creative. I'll see you real soon. Bye. Oh, Rupert. Hi, Rupert. I'm just going. It's so lovely to see you. How are you doing? I've got to go. I've been here for two hours. I made this cushion cover. Check it on the replay. Make something beautiful. Stay in touch. All right? Stay in touch. And um, I'll see you real soon. Bye. Take care. Stay creative. Bye. Do, 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 do. I'll do a little dance on the...